Lies this year were one of the most horrendous years ever. Oh, come on. No, they yeah. weren't. I mean, they're becoming like genetically re-engineered or something to bite harder and be more ferocious than ever. Get to the okay. mosquito netting. Yes, we, we actually have a, a secret weapon and it failed this year. That's all I can say. It's been effective in many, many years past. It was just a fail this year, so we're gonna have to reevaluate our our fly technique. What's the secret weapon? We can't Let's reveal that. It it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> that just happened. Like, you know. <laughs> sure, person, Milwaukee can buy it by the yard. <laughs> Excellent. That's what we're doing. So that, it's a very critical component to macros. Now, which year did you figure out the secret weapon? Yeah. So. And since then, what other secret weapons have you developed? That's really it. We really need to develop one for winning, which we haven't seen to do much of lately. <laughs> we always have fun. And uh, we have a really great team, Sailing on the Boat Blue. And uh, we have a lot of fun. And tell me about your shore support here. We have an awesome shore support team. Shelly Galligan. Oops. And her daughter, Bryn. <laughs> And that's a pretty strange look that she's got going right now. But anyway. <laughs> so this is their first time as it's short short support. support. Yeah, first yeah. Short support. Shelly's done one Mac race. Yeah, yeah. one. Many one. moons ago. <laughs> 1977. Really? And you haven't gone back? <laughs> You'll. <laughs> but she no, I was away from sailing. I'm coming back. I'm back. So anyway. So, so here would, we are. would you do short short support again or? Absolutely. I'll do it differently though. What would you do share differently? Come on! You can't share your secrets. You totally can share your secrets. I'm all about sharing. Um, I would just make more lists of what goes and what stays when I'm hauling things all over. And um, I think I would have a room closer to the ferry for transporting all the stuff. So, you didn't learn that they transport that for well, you? Well, they do, but we were at a little bed and breakfast um, way on the other side, and it was this beautiful little Victorian with this tiny little sitting room and I showed up with 7,000 bags and, sales <laughs> and delivery sales and canopies and battens and food and rum and, and, and overwhelmed them. Oh, I'm sure they were thrilled so, to have you. Or not. They uninvited me back. Oh no, really? Well, I, can, I can go back but not my stuff. <laughs> so I would, yeah, make a few adjustments for next time. <laughs> we're doing Port Huron next, so I can... Get to do it all over again next yeah, week. I can, I can, change a few things even for that. Oh, that's excellent. So you learn quickly. Yes. <laughs> and Billy, will you be sailing on blue again for Port Huron? Yes, we are doing Port Huron next weekend. And uh, it'll be nice. I have not done a Port Huron race in probably 10 or 12 years. So it's be nice to get back over on that side of the pond and uh, hope for a little better result than we had this week. What's the forecast looking like for Port Huron? Um, that's a little too far away to tell. It's gonna be, it's like this all, the whole week is light, so maybe next weekend there'll be some breeze. It's gotta, it can't be light forever. There has to be some breeze, and it better come from the south. For our boat. Yeah, <laughs> for a lot of boats. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much. Best of luck in Port Huron. Thank you so much. Morgan. Take care.